So hypertension is a disease that affects a large number of people. Um, but I think as time goes on, we'll be able to stratify those patients into smaller groups. Um, can you talk a bit about the concept of hypertension as a potentially rare disease? Yeah, I would be slightly hesitant to actually call hypertension a disease. It's uh, certainly a risk factor. But for a disease, I would actually claim that you know exactly what causes it at the molecular level. Only if we know the molecules, then we can develop drugs against it. And uh, some people say it's kind of an 18th, 19th century definition of a disease. So I think what we'll see in the future is that um, those patients who have elevated blood pressure will be diagnosed better. And then in each of these patients, we will identify real molecular mechanisms and, and causes. And that will split up probably the current diagnosis of hypertension into several, probably even rare diseases. So antioxidants um, play a <coughs> crucial role in maintaining the vasculature. And we also take a lot of them over the counter antioxidants. Um, can you talk about the, um, the uh, effectiveness of those antioxidants over the counter to help us with hypertension or any other diseases? Yeah, there is the belief in the literature that, or also in the population, that um, sort of the appearance of uh, oxygen radicals in the body is bad, and we have to eliminate them as efficiently as possible. And that uh, swallowing uh, kind of antioxidant vitamins uh, is beneficial for you. And um, it's potentially logic, but uh, it has been now tested by huge studies and meta-analysis of these studies. And unfortunately, the outcome is that uh, not only do these therapy not work, but uh, it has also been shown uh, that in some cases they actually seem to be harmful. So people should actually be warned not to take them uh, uncritically and uh, they may even cause health risks. Okay. Your area is cardiovascular mm -hmm. and for many years there has not been much innovation in the cardiovascular world. Um, can you talk a bit about any new advances in, in terms of therapies? Yeah, that's right, Cheryl. Um, but basically all the drugs that we currently prescribe patients with cardiovascular disease, they are out of patent. And that means basically because of the duration of a patent is usually 20 years. That means in the last 20 years there has been no innovation. But um, there is innovation on the horizon. Uh, for instance, an exciting development is that uh, it has been now found that in a lot of cardiovascular diseases, there seems to be an underlying immune pathomechanism going on, so quite surprisingly. Um, and uh, first studies are coming out that an uh, anti-immune therapy works in cardiovascular diseases, and I think we'll see more of that. Another one is that uh, specific genes have been identified now um, related to specific signaling pathways. I think that would be too detailed. But there is on the horizon that um, we will soon identify a real molecular mechanism. But something that I would predict is going to happen is that we used to classify diseases organ-specific. So there is a subset of cardiovascular diseases diseases that affect the brain, diseases that affect the GI tract. And what we're seeing actually, that there are actually signaling pathways affected that may occur in the heart, in the brain, or in the GI tract. And these are the mechanisms that we want to treat. So the old organ-based definitions of disease will probably disappear and will probably look at diseases in a completely different ways in a couple of years. And so specialists, perhaps, in uh, medicine will end up being redefined. Exactly. And we're seeing that already, that uh, some patient who has a myocardial infarction gets a pulmonary infection on, on top of it and has had some heart surgery would actually needs to be treated by three specialists and this integration of, of knowledge and uh, synergistic uh, patient care um, because of organizational reasons is necessary and i think because of content reasons we will also see more and more in the future